NEC and the President's Challenge came up with the idea of having an arts program for the underprivileged, as it was called then. I thought it was quite exciting. What followed was even more challenging. From the target group of the underprivileged, they became youths at risk, further identified to be the Singapore Girls Home. And our end goal became not so much of a music lessons, but became more of an arts as a creative and transformative process for the, the girls. I saw all the violins and stuff, then I thought we were going to learn violin. I was doing my A-level, then actually very difficult because the program was like, what, three times or four times a week. I wasn't really interested, like, I don't know, like, I'm so busy, then you study, then after that, like, still must come to this program, do all these things. I think at first, they were a bit hesitant. They weren't very sure what this is going to be about or if it's going to be like, like any other program. So we came up with a program that allowed them to be very creative. They were totally in charge of their whole creative process. Take Flight as a program brought together many different art forms. So there was the music making element of it. Uh, they learned how to create sound effects out of everyday objects. Some of them were playing instruments during the performance itself. And then there was the drama element of it from script writing, uh, to acting, to learning stage directions, also the off-stage elements of it. I feel very excited, just different from whatever I've learned before. Which person the one that want to make their own script, they have to make their own storyline, they make their own song. Basically, when we started, we got nothing in mind. So we were thinking, okay, maybe we start from the name, how old will she be, how will her parents be like, her background. The story that they crafted, as well as the lyric, again, are all part of ways that they express themselves. They bring up stories from their real life and events that happened in their past. I think the, the interesting thing was the, the music part, the one that you create your own effect. I mean like, so cool, I never see before. One or two days before a performance, and, like some people still cannot memorize the script. So I tend to forget my lines and then every time, when I forget, I freak out. Then I like, I very drama one. Then after that, they'll be like, never mind. Just continue, just continue. Then from there I learned like, okay, like, don't give up. It was so nice to see that at the final performance, all the instructors were really standing hands off and the girls were just running the show themselves. Being artists and musicians, we strive for perfection sometimes, as well as creativity. But in this case, I think the whole process was the most important thing. It's not the perfection of the end result. I think the most important was confidence to speak up because I'm a person who is afraid. When I was supposed to perform the rap, I was just like freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, how am I going to sing? I was very privileged to be involved in the actual performance. As I was on stage, I could see the reaction of the audience. While the girls were acting their role, I saw the look on their parents' faces and their parents' face just light up. Yeah, I was just so proud of them that I really felt that that was the most significant. I've joined other programs, but this was different because they teach about maybe character. Like, I look at my own life. Like, how would I be in her shoes? The one main thing which I saw them um, go through and grow was the fact that they, they had to take ownership of their product, the story that they themselves created, as well as um, the songs that they have wrote. This ownership that they had to take for me was, was their point of growth where they took flight. I just feel more happier when I inside this take flight. Even a short period of session that we have and the memories that built up in this program is just a lot. My biggest takeaway and I think it's a biggest reminder is to always hold judgement. And especially when we're dealing with youths, uh, a lot of the times it's just a result of misguidance and then to give them the benefit of the doubt. My mum didn't know like what I wanted to do after I get out from this place. She was wondering which was my dream. So my dream was to actually study psychology. La. Then we talked about it and she was very supportive. I would like to have this program again. Firstly, we get to perform. We also get to learn moral values through it. I feel it shouldn't be just that group of girls. They should also build it to the other girls because there's hidden talents everywhere. On the whole, I think that our idea of, um, of using arts as a transformative process was successful. The girls mentioned about the growing confidence and having this outlet, this voice to say something. I think that they could identify with it and they, they realised what they have gone through and 
how transformative it, it has been for them. I'm a very stay in the box kind of person. Like I cannot get out of my comfort zone. I'll go crazy. So it's like when they force me to join this, I'm like, oh shit, it's, it's, it's going to be another disaster. Yeah, after I did it, I'm like, hmm. Turned out that it was worth it. Lah. Like, I just felt that like after this, I told myself lah, like this time, before I jump into conclusion, I think I try first better. It's so fun. I mean, people may, may think that like, um, like it's like very stressful or this, but then everything is difficult before it becomes easy. So I think you just do it, lah. you put your heart through it, then anything's possible.